Hi guys and uh, welcome to Tech Scrutiny. Uh, you might have seen my previous video about the Uperfect 4K portable monitor. Uh, well, Uperfect reached out to me and asked me to review their latest model uh, with a few extra tricks up its sleeve. Um, so today I'm going to review it and give you my two cents. Uh, and uh, just to be clear, this review is uh, sponsored by them, uh, but I will give you my unbiased opinion and uh, we'll also compare it to the older model that I have. Um, okay, let's go. First, let me go over some of the key specs and then I will cover them in more detail. Um, let me briefly mention the price. Uh, right now it's uh, $300 on Amazon, uh, which is on par with other similar devices. And uh, this portable monitor has an HDR QLED panel uh, with a 1080p resolution, uh, 60 Hertz, 10 point pressure sensitive touchscreen, 100% Adobe RGB coverage, 100% DCI-P3 coverage, 500 nits of brightness, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio and 178 degree viewing angle. Whew. All right, so the first thing I want to draw your attention to right off the bat is that this portable monitor only supports up to 1080p resolution, and as I mentioned earlier. Uh, but I was thinking if it's really that big of a deal. Um, it's unlikely you will be running it in 4K and even uh, 2K. Um, it's just probably just a little bit of a stretch in a 15.6 inch uh, form factor. If I did have a choice though, I wouldn't mind having, having it as an option. Um, I would be curious to know what you guys think. Uh, it just seems like everything is uh, 4K now. Um, if they were selling clock radios to the masses, they would probably have a 4K resolution. Uh, because why not, right? Okay, now let's talk about the display technology a little bit. Um, this is a QLED panel. Uh, which I would compare to an OLED display. Um, QLED stands for Quantum Light Emitting Diode. Uh, sounds pretty cool, right? Um, so, uh, what does this really mean? Basically, you have these uh, nanoparticles called quantum dots, which are really, really tiny. Uh, nano, right? So, they enhance the brightness and color uh, versus a conventional LED display that doesn't have them. Now, what about OLED? Uh, the key difference is that OLED does not use backlight uh, versus LED or QLED displays. And what this means is uh, you will get much deeper blacks with OLED. And uh, QLED just dims a particular pixel, uh, which still allows some of the light to bleed through. Unlike OLED, which would com completely turn off the individual pixels. Uh, what that means to you is you get, uh, as I mentioned, much deeper blacks uh, with OLED displays. And another key advantage is the response time. Um, it is far superior. Uh, we're talking about 0.1 millisecond versus about 2 to 3 milliseconds for uh, QLED. So your game, if you're a gamer, this uh, might be important to you. Uh, do check the specs before you buy one though. Um, anyway, now what about the advantages of the QLED panels? Um, the biggest one is brightness and color. Unless you're in a dark room, um, this is a big one. Um, and then uh, QLED will be much brighter. So if you're in a coffee, sh coffee shop or somewhere where there's a lot of natural light, uh, QLED, QLED would be uh, probably preferred. And also your choices for OLED monitors right now um, very limited and expect to pay through the nose. <laughs> anyway, okay, now let's go over some of the other specs. Um, as I mentioned, it's a 60 hertz display, uh, not much to cover here. Uh, the interesting thing is that this portable monitor has 100% DCI-P3 coverage. Uh, DCI stands for Digital Cinema Initiatives. It's an association of the major movie production companies such as uh, Sony Pictures Entertainment, 20th Century Fox, uh, Warner Brothers and others. Uh, the goal was to, get, to create a standard across multiple devices for the best color reproduction. And the DCI color space is 25% uh, wider than the sRGB. And that's what you're seeing in products from Apple, Google, Sony, Samsung and uh, others. So I'd say it's uh, very nice to have and it's uh, somewhat future-proof at this point. The display does have 100% Adobe RGB coverage, uh, which I'm not as excited about since it's mostly important for print at this point. Uh, but feel free to argue that, um, that in the comments below. Uh, what I am excited about is uh, 500 nits of brightness. It's uh, twice as bright as the other 4K portable monitor that I have. And I thought that one was pretty bright. Anyway, 500 nits rivals some of the best laptops on the market right now. I'm talking uh, MacBook Pro and uh, Dell XPS uh, 15 and 17. Um, now, um, let's see what's in the box. Um, so first, first thing first, you do get the monitor itself, um, which I already took out. Um, it's uh, glass on both sides. Um, I am not crazy about it. It's a fingerprint magnet, uh, but it does look uh, 
pretty cool, uh, like a giant iPhone. There you go. All right, what we have here is uh, your manual, a power adapter. Um, I like how uh, tiny this one is. Uh, so the previous one was uh, much larger for the 4K model that I have. Um, so this one appears to be a lot smaller. Um, so not too bad. All right. You also get several cables. Um, so you get a couple uh, USB-C cables. You get a USB-A to USB-C. So this one is uh, for when you want to have the touch functionality um, enabled on the display. So if you're connecting it to your uh, PC and you get the uh, mini HDMI to HDMI cable. So you don't have to get a dongle. Um, I already had one lying around, so that's how I'm connecting my um, Fire Stick. So you also could get something like this. Um, anyway, so you have everything you need in the box. Um, I don't think you need anything else. Um, pretty, pretty standard, I would say. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a nice monitor. If uh, 1080p, if 1080p is okay with you, um, then I, I think this monitor is awesome. I mean, 500 nits of brightness. Um, I, I don't think I've seen that on the on other portable monitors. And I said the, the one I have, I think uh, the previous model of this one, it is 4K, but I think it only has like 250 nits of brightness. This one is uh, twice as bright. Um, it's not OLED, uh, but for watching movies, playing games, um, I, I don't think it would it would matter that much. I think it's still uh, the quality is very nice, very very nice. There you go. Okay, um, let me show you guys the monitor in more detail. Uh, what I'm playing for you here is a YouTube video. Um, I have my uh, Fire Stick uh, hooked up to it. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, as you can see, the color reproduction is uh, very good. Uh, let me show you the menu. I really love the menu system on this one. Uh, it's just a little push button on the side. Um, you just press it and all of this is uh, touch sensitive. So you don't have to mess with the buttons anymore if you wanna uh, reduce or turn up the brightness you can uh, your uh, volume is right here as well your contrast um, HDR you can turn it on and off or set it to auto like I do um, It's easy to go through the menu system um, uh, Just press it by pressing the buttons over here um, Yeah, it's uh, very nice And then you press it again uh, to get to get out of it um, let me show you the actual buttons there right here. Uh, so it's uh, this button over here on the scroll wheel. And um, if you want to control the volume without using the touchscreen, you can. Um, if you push, uh, press it in and uh, move it up or down, that's how you control the volume. If you just um, uh, touch it uh, without pressing it in, it's the, uh, the sound or vice versa. Um, anyway, um, I think the menu system is far superior to the other one that I have. Um, it's uh, very nice. So let me also now show you the ports. So here, as you can see, this is your audio, uh, your volume and brightness is um, over here. This is your uh, power button right here. That's a silver one. Uh, so let me unplug my fire stick, show you the rest of the ports comes with this nice uh, case. It is magnetic. Um, it's actually just snaps on. Okay, let's look at the other side. So, um, there is no, one thing to note, uh, there's no full size um, HDMI port. Uh, this is a mini HDMI. Um, they do include the cables I showed uh, in the box and then you have uh, two USB Type-C ports um, as well. Uh, so uh, one of them is uh, for power, another one if you want to get the uh, touchscreen functionality or just connect it to something. Um, it is a touch sensitive uh, display. So uh, this is a pretty cool monitor with uh, very few drawbacks. 
Um, let me know if you have any questions or thoughts in the comments below. Um, I sincerely hope you found this review helpful. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, uh, thank you guys for watching.